With an increasing concern of improving livelihoods and food security at the household level for farmers in the Brun Ahafo region, a UK based development charity, United Purpose, is together with its partners contributing to local economic development and job creation through agricultural and agribusiness development. Juliet Lampo is the country director for United Purpose Ghana. She tells Joy News what informed their decision to embark on the ballot project. We've been doing more intensive agriculture related work since 2011. And in doing that work, we realized the challenges that smallholder farmers were facing in terms of low productivity and poor access to markets. Um, and so in order for us to help solve this problem, we decided to engage other stakeholders to figure out what is the best solution. We, we came up with the idea that two things have to be done. There is a need to improve productivity of farmers, as in increase yield, and also enhance access to market for the smallholder farmers. Because when farmers produce and they can't sell, or they sell at below cost, then we are perpetuating poverty. Ms. Lampo indicated that the project has contributed in improving yields and household income of farmers has increased by more than 53 percent. At least the farmers that we have worked with have been able to improve their yields and they will tell you that. Our, our assessment on the field tells us that almost all the farmers that we've talked to, if you look at the aggregate, household incomes has increased by more than 53 percent. I mean that is a move. We have seen farmers who typically previously would be selling one bag, half bag in their local communities that are now selling as a group to off takers. So there has been a lot of change that we have seen as a result of this project. To some of the beneficiaries of this project, business has been made easier for farmers with a link created between farmers and buyers. Shelly Ajele Soa is the development planning officer at the Nkranza South Municipal Assembly. She shares her experience with Joy News. Through the project, we are able to help the farmers whose main uh, issues were with marketing. We are able to help them to get linkage with the off-takers who will be able to buy their maize whenever it is ready. So they don't now have to go to the markets carrying their goods, scouting for buyers. They just sit in their communities, gather them at one place, and then call the buyers that we have this number of bags of maize. Come for it. For Dr. Aziz Isifu, who is the country director of Sodia, through capacity building organized by the project, Farmers were given trainings capable of aiding them access for funding from financial institutions. Uh, one of the major challenges that, that farmers face within our region uh, is access to uh, finance. And uh, because we identified that as a very key challenge, we, in the project design, we uh, collaborated with the business advisory center, support them develop viable or marketable business plans so that if these farmers want loans or want, uh, want to have access to loans, it will be easy for them because they already have the basics for assessing the, the, the support. Ms. Juliet Lampo, however, added that the COVID-19 pandemic could affect food production levels if conscious efforts are not being taken. COVID has impacted everything and it does have potential of affecting productivity because of the disruptions in the in the supply chains. Um, if we don't take care, it's going to affect production level, as in output levels. Around the production period, you know, it's, it's happened around the production period and it's disrupted movements. And so it's going to affect production if conscious effort is not made to make sure that these things are, take the input directly to the, the, to the doorsteps of the farmers because we are limiting movements, you know. That has to be looked at now Otherwise, three months down the line, we're going, to be, we, we're going to be faced with shortages that we had not planned for because of COVID. Reporting for Joy News, Anas Sabit, Tichiman.